Okay, so it looks like I have a fan, or rather a foe. <laughs> yeah, uh, some woman, Bionic Dance, has taken upon herself to post a video wherein she took my video and started debating it. Um, just so all of you know, um, she doesn't know this. There's no reason that she should necessarily, to be fair. But that was part two of a video. Um, no way any of you would know this, but in the first part of the video, I didn't write it because prior to Thursday, nobody had watched any of my videos. I didn't think anybody was going to be watching it. <laughs> and wow, was I wrong. But in the first video, okay, I explained quite clearly our atheist arrogant. And I say, no, not necessarily. As a personal quality, no. They aren't any more arrogant than any other group of people. Now, if you didn't hear me say that, you might think the second video, you didn't hear me say that, I can understand why you might think the second video is a little bit more aggressive than it, it was intended to be. I made it quite clear in the first video. No, atheists are not any more arrogant than any other group of people. Matter of fact, okay, uh, most of my friends on the internet are atheists. A couple of Christian friends, most of the rest of them are atheists. And they're perfectly lovely people. They aren't arrogant at all. They're quite humble and quite nice. Um, what I was trying to say was positionally, the, the relationship to the cosmos can be considered arrogant. That was one thing I was trying to say. Now, was I trying to say that Christians are by definition humble? No, not at all. Christians can be arrogant jerks just like any other group of people. Uh, really, really much so. And I was not also trying to say that I myself am some sort of paragon of humility. I mentioned it in the first video. I didn't in the second video. I, am I personally arrogant? Yes, I can be. A lot of people think that I am arrogant. Now, I'm a Christian, so I've tried to correct that in myself. I've tried to become more humble over the years, and I've been somewhat successful, but I'm not there yet. So I wasn't trying to say that I am free from arrogance. I was trying to point out that there is... There is such a thing as an honest atheist. They, they operate with integrity and they're just looking to find the truth. I like those people. I tend to get along with them very, very well automatically. Like I said, they're most, of my friends on, most of my friends on the internet are atheists. Now, there is a type of atheist who is profoundly arrogant. And they, they are shot through with self-righteousness. And they're not really trying to debate honestly. They're just trying to trash theists and present themselves as, you know, as like these profoundly moral people. So, now we come to Bionic Dance. And the great irony and paradox here is that Bionic Dance, you are the living embodiment, the living embodiment of that type of arrogant atheist. You are profoundly and amazingly arrogant. As arrogant a person as I could have possibly, you know, that's the irony. You got triggered by something in my video, it should trigger someone like you. You are completely and utterly arrogant, through and through. If there's any one quality that you embodied in your response to me, if there's any one quality that, that suffuses your entire persona, I would say is defined most completely by self-aggrandizement, unbelievable amounts of self-righteousness, um, and truckloads of moral vanity. So yeah, you're ridiculously arrogant. Matter of fact, you're almost a caricature of the type of atheist I was talking about. You are the living embodiment of the arrogant atheist. You are arrogant through and through and through. And furthermore, you're dishonest. Yeah, completely dishonest. Because you don't argue with what people say. And just for the record, you have this terrible voice that sounds like Siri, and how anybody can listen to your video past 10 minutes is beyond my imagination. But no, you're completely and utterly arrogant. You are the living embodiment of the type of atheist I was talking about, practically a caricature of them, and you're dishonest. For example, okay, you said, so your argument is, if life is beautiful, Therefore, God exists. No, that wasn't my, my, my argument at all. That wasn't even close to my argument. You classic straw man. 
you completely misrepresent what someone is trying to say so that it's easier for you to tear it down. And a matter of fact, that's what you do routinely in your videos. Routinely in your video to me. I didn't watch any of your other videos, so I don't know if you do that as a habit. But to me, you were completely and utterly dishonest. Every single point that I made, you, you, you redefined it in a way that was completely fake. For example, example two. I said, my life is very good. So your life is good, so therefore fuck all to all the starving people in Asia? No, it's not what I said at all. And, by, and just for the record, okay, the, so life is beautiful and therefore God exists? That's word for word. Word for word. That's exactly what you said. And that's a complete misrepresentation of what I said and what I meant. And that seemed to be your complete style with me. So, for the record, the argument from evil is this. The argument from evil is, because there is so much evil in the world, how can we say that God is good? How can we reconcile the supposed goodness of God with all of the evil in the world? And what I was trying to say is that we both recognize on some level, quite easily, that life itself is net good, net positive, beautiful, positive, good. Life is beautiful and good. It follows, therefore, if there is a God, He is good too. Logically, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's a very simple argument, and it's completely logical and sensible. If you look at life and you say life overall is profoundly beautiful and good, then if there is a God, He must be profoundly beautiful and good too, or life could not be that way. Simple. Simple logic. That's the argument from evil that I was making. Okay? The other thing that you said, that you distorted completely, is I didn't say, you know, I said, I can understand someone making the argument from evil. If you are making it from within, for example, if you yourself have cancer, I can completely, and you say, you know, God has been bad to me. I, I have all these sorrow and affliction in my life. Therefore, I think that God is mean or bad or cruel because in your experience, he has been to you. You know, I respect that to some degree. It didn't happen to me. Uh, if you're making an argu the argument from evil from inside of a concentration camp, I have a lot more respect for the argument. You know, for example, if I had a son and my son killed himself, I would have a lot of trouble, you know, forgiving God or seeing God as good past that point. But what I was saying with you and me personally, Bionic Dance, personally, and you admitted to this, is that we both live lives in our experience our life has been profoundly good and nothing but positive and nothing but a blessing by your own admission. It therefore follows, if there is a God, that he has been nothing but good to us personally. So we have no right to question his character or his integrity because as far as we are concerned, he's been nothing but good. And just because you see people on TV who are suffering out there, that's something that is happening out there that is not your own personal experience. If you are experiencing life as good and your life as a blessing and a positive thing, it follows, therefore, that if there is a God, He has been nothing but good to you personally. That's what I was trying to say. And just, you know, for the record, okay, you people watching her video, she likes to think of herself as a lot smarter than she actually is. If you really want to see a smart atheist, okay, I would highly recommend you check out Scott Clifton. His, his videos, are, his YouTube channel is called Theoretical Bullshit. Now, he's really smart. He's the real deal, and he makes really good first-rate arguments. This girl, no. And actually, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a very cool guy, and his videos are great. This girl just thinks she's smart. And she's the living embodiment of the smug, arrogant, self-righteous atheist that I was talking about. She, I couldn't have, she, she a caricature of the of that. Now, the final thing, the end of.